here's how to set up your LOD pretty fast so right now it doesn't have any LOD uh, we search group and then choose high detail yes it will essentially create the LOD for us if we see the LOD right here now we have until LOD 5 so you have this beautiful interior or beautiful scene that you set up and everything is perfect everything is pristine and everything is high risk because of nanite so we switch to nanite view here everything is you can the fell just right and for somehow or some reason uh, you cannot ship with nanite you cannot continue with nanite maybe one of the example is we are not using data x12 anymore either 11 or Vulcan it doesn't support Ninet anymore so we're still in the Ninet visualization but we don't see any Ninet and once we look into the details we see that it's a lot more rough or jaggier than before and even that this so far right here pretty sure this was a very high res thing and maybe let's just open the sofa we see that this is nanite enable and it doesn't have any LOD but I'm sure uh, you can see even right here the nanite triangles is 36,000 and since it's using the fallback triangles it doesn't represent the original mesh anymore and maybe uh, this will uh, save a lot of performance but we know there's there is a better way to have a better quality lah, for our scene and our geometries which is LOD. So let's get right into the bits of the tutorial, the actual tutorial. Open your uh, static mesh editor and uh, let's uh, disable the night first. We see that the geometry fall back into the a lot more high res version. If we enable the night, yes, it's still. Uh, let's go back to the lit mode and then disable nanite here's how to set up your LOD pretty fast so right now it doesn't have any LOD uh, we search group and then choose high detail yes it will essentially create the LOD for us if we see the LOD right here, we now have LOD 5. The highest triangle uh, we have is still 33,000. And then the, the LOD 1 is 16,000. The LOD 2nd is 8,000. LOD 3 is a lot more or less, is 4,000. And the last LOD, uh, which is a lot more similar to the fallback triangle and by the way uh, not just uh, seeing this from triangle if you see using the wireframe you can actually see that uh, the triangle is reducing in every step you do 0, you do 1, you do 2, 3, 4, 5 and if we leave it on auto it's actually still uh, reducing every time we zoom in and zoom out you might see and uh, we can see in the LOD also uh, they are switching to the LOD 5 at the furthest and switching to LOD 0 at the closest if we want to say add another one uh, let's see LOD settings we see that it's high detail right uh, let's increase the number of LOD maybe not 6 but 7 that will give us uh, another LOD the furthest LOD we can see now we have LOD 6 before we only have LOD 5 we see that LOD 6 uh, it decimate uh, even more we can see that before it was 722 and now it's only 400 if i'm not mistaken in Unreal 4 uh, they didn't do this we have to manually adjust how much of the decimation on the LOD uh, here in the reduction settings 
you can see that it only 1% of the 33,000 and maybe we can increase this uh, we see that we are already selecting the LOD6 if we in increase uh, the mesh is going to be slightly more high res so LOD6 can now give us almost the same with LOD5 but if we change our mind maybe oh uh, at LOD5 it's very small anyway and we don't need that much of an LOD uh, let's uh, uh, reduce that number of LOD to 6 apply change and we see that LOD5 still uh, at 1054 we decided oh, we need more uh, reduction in the furthest LOD so I'm going to enter 1.5 apply change like that so the LOD5 is only 500 uh, that's a uh, quite drop from 2000 uh, so that's how you set up an LOD if you need one and LOD also uh, go by distance so for example oh uh, see this current screen size that screen size is determined which uh, which number we switch between LOD uh, you search for auto uh, and you go for auto compute LOD distances now uh, you can set the screen size uh, up however you want so for example I want the mesh is not to switch to LOD 5 unless the screen size touches uh, 0 0.1 now it only switches once the current screen size is go below 0.1 see like that and we can also see that oh uh, even though I'm this close and we are still not getting the LOD 0 it's because the screen size is waiting for screen size 1 until we get the full LOD but let's go uh, scale this down to 0 0.8 and we are entering LOD1 instantly because this value are the same so we are entering the LOD0 uh, much sooner and yeah that's about it uh, we better use this method when we are not shipping with nanite so what you might want to do so we select all of this uh, first we, we disable nanite we hit save and then go to right click asset action edit selection in property matrix and then when you select all of it uh, you can go to LOD settings load group right now uh, all of these mesh are not having any LOD settings but since we are editing seven of them in one hit uh, let's type high detail and then hit enter it will generate all of LODs for all of our selected mesh right here so you don't need to go in and open the static mesh editor and then choose the high detail and generate one by one in each of every mesh but you can select a bunch of them do an edit property matrix like right here type a high detail everything should be set so for example displayed now it should have LOD set up let's save all now you might want to do it on every each of your mesh it's all depends on, on your project and setup but be careful while you are doing uh, edit property matrix right here because when you select too much it will use a lot of memory and you might be crash so maybe select uh, not all of them but uh, a group of them select 20 uh, do the edit property matrix select all type in high detail and by selecting group after group and converting them group after group it will avoid crashes that's all thank you very much